By virtue of this crossfire, the smoke fading now. It's not going to last for forever. Boomich sitting duck here. They will re-smoke and go. Electronic's been waiting for a long time for that frag, and Boomich will try and deny. Electronic confirms they're pushing through. No one was holding. Acor does find a crucial frag, and looking good for Mouse now. Only simple in the donut, and it's far from sweet. Or maybe he's actually managed to make it look rather sweet indeed. A double kill. It doesn't look like it could be round winning. Considering the health of Mouse Sports, I'm not ready to condemn them just yet. Simple has your heavy lifting. Put Perfecto in a position to win this. He fakes the steps, hoping to lull Frozen in. They are both within that one click range. Now, there is a kit on site. He can take his time here. There's a chance this becomes the 1v1. Frozen holds his nerve. Ooh, what a pistol. It's arrived in Temple, and it will channel the CTs to either respect it or wait it out. Bit in a lovely little off angle here. Should be good for the first and the second on the cards. Lovely finds from Bit. Chops them down to size. It's down to Dexter and Rob's to recover. Close, easy denial. Oh, it's going to fall apart. Rob's going to only get the one and Na'Vi. A solid team effort. Well, they are walking into mid. It does feel like Electronics got three here. And... Uh, they're just boosted over. I love the idea. Uno, dos, stress. That'll do. That'll do nicely. No, no. Mm -mm. We could get both. Yeah. Secures the first. Boomich gets the last. And... Okay. I think he's well a bit then. hyped about this. What's going on, Boomich? What's going on, mate? Acor very wide on this boosted box. He's begging for a way back in, and his team are going to try and seize it. Need another Boomich. Oh, another multi-kill out of Boomich, and you can see that the, as the dust settles, it leaves a very lonely Rops. A few seconds. He might have been able to at least not have a 1v3 with all three. <laughs> peeking him at the same time. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hi. Uh, I, I'll be going now. <laughs> Simple is alone. And repositioning for an active fight. <laughs> what a headshot out of Rops. He keeps simple honest. Well, they're in at least. There's no donut pressure either. They might get the bomb down here. Oh, look at that nade. Son of a monkey. That's a great nade. Oh, and another's gone down. Oh, and more headshots to go. Oh, and it falls apart for Mouse. The hard part was done. Yeah, well, on A, eh? <laughs> you had the bomb in your grasp and you'd beaten simple. Rescinding now. They're allowing them into the site. So the bomb should go down. But because they maintain cave, where are you going to play post plant from? Ooh, well, Dexter could try and bail you out. He wasn't ready for another, though, and now they know. And there, the after plant. This is why this site can really feel like a bit of an awkward achievement. Like, they've got the bomb down, Chad, but if Na'Vi walk in and just start defusing, it's, it might be over. If Simple smokes the top of the ramp, they're done, Zerd. Yeah, essentially, which is odd and not common. They are flanking onto perfect. Oh, perfect little off angle, just as Beam as... As sects, it's clear and... Well, should we just accept the round's lost now or will Frozen go for the denial? He needs this one bullet! Oh, and he's found it more than enough! What a recovery! The missed orb shot is the window into a fourth round for Mouse. Oof. Bit goes low. Oh! Oh! It's so sketch! He's dead and another weapon falls into enemy hands. Okay, Bemis and Rops, you've got such a lovely utility belt there. Two flashes apiece. Molotovs are plenty. Both now deployed to ensure that bomb goes down. An unarmored bit, but an armored electronic and perfecto. And bit's the first to actually try and clear out Donut. His crosshair placement supreme. And he actually wins out the duel. Rops has been handed a real dud. 1v3 to actively fighting. And there's two of the three. Perfecto, the tail end of it, just to ensure the trade is there. Yeah, and let's see what if that builds into anything substantial. They could just all in commit. Just drop your nades. Going for the push and perfecto. Oh, damn. He's made it competitive at least. Oh, oh and Rob looks the wrong way. What's going on? That timing. We've it's seen happened some a couple bad of those. Strike timing, but that. That oh is absurd. my god, just as he wiggled his mouse away and now from behind. Oh, it hurts. It really does. This is a heartache for the boys of Mouse. Frozen needs one and then somehow being allowed to escape. It's a fake. And they're looking for you. Ten for Na'Vi. The two of them. Oh. Oh, he's got so many targets he's got to manage. 
First, very snappy, does eliminate Bit from Donut. But still got to find Simple, and he's having no issues here. You'd have to spray down. Nice from Rops. Five sounds a whole lot better than four for Mouse, but they've got 30 seconds to find the remaining two, Healthy, Boomich, and Perfecto. Oh, I'd love a smoke, but this wide open bomb site is going to just be a, a fragging battle more than anything else. Crosshair placement flawless from Bemus, and it does get a whole lot more likely now. Oh, don't think they've spotted him. He's been able to close the gap and nicely. Rob's looking the wrong way. Bemis at least spots him out. And now they're just hunting for 10 seconds. If he could stop the plant, if he could stop the plant, it could get awkward. It could, but it won't. 10 to 5. Mousesport's just about put a bow on the end of that. But you know what they say? You can't polish that which is not. Yeah, I'm not going to finish that. Never mind. No, V10. Mousesport's 5. But now we get underway here. There is a top mid smoke in play. Lane control being worked on. Beatmas delivers. And he's so blind. He has got a teammate, though, to call upon, and he doesn't even need the help. The bomb, bomb. could not be in a worse position. Oh, yeah, he couldn't. Guys, just come cave, and we can hold the bomb and win the round. And two of the three don't have armor. But simple. Oh, kept very honest. Did initiate onto Rops. Frozen takes him down. Rushley is joining us uh, through the power of the internet to observe your game. And Electronic dumping all his How days. does he manage this? I mean, he's going to bunny hop in. Everyone misses all their shots. Oh, he kills one, and the Molotov makes it awkward for Bemis, who's just going to win the round. Oh, 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 That's all him, baby. Oh, oh, oh. That is Hot. lovely. All right, Rops, you've got a lot to deal with. In fact, the entire Na'Vi squad is coming for you and Bit head on a swivel. Good for one. Perfecto's nearly good for another as well. It is just Bemis, really, with a, a voice in this round, looking for the denial. I won't get that. Perfecto staring right at him, and Bemis needs to reload. Five bullets. Boomich to push him in. Doesn't get the angle he was hoping for. And that's the end of that. Na'Vi do post their 11th, and it came just as a slow conversion of those two frags. I think slow's the key there. Walking towards the same aggress that Dexter brought into the previous one. Perfecto. Waiting. Oh, no. Oh, Mouse Sports put so many of their eggs into that basket and it's just cracked. And so simple, just as much as he is jacked. Bemis, M4, head on a swivel, rightfully so. There's ramp and cave pressure. It's just a question of who wants to blink first. Electronic collects, call it 12. 21 kills for Electronic so far. Having a bit of a game of things here. Simple's found uh, six kills, I believe it was, in this second half. So starting to come alive as well. But Mirage being picked by Na'Vi, that's not that common. I suppose that's more of a uh, opponent-centric pick. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't know if it has become more often. I'm just going to quickly flip through their Cologne games because I remember them playing it a little bit in Cologne, right? They played it against G2. G2 picked it into them. They picked us too. What did they play against FaZe? Against FaZe, FaZe picked Inferno and Na'Vi picked Mirage. Okay. And already Boomich has lost a bit of a chunk of his health. So watch out for Frozen here. Flashed in. Oh, it's so good. That's the flash. It enables Dexter, or rather Frozen, to find one easy frag, but the rest don't come easy at all. They're going straight through that donut smoke, and poor old Dexter, needless, has got to do a lot. He can sit in the off angle. We know it's effective. We saw Bit using it very well. Doesn't need to actively contest this. He's got an opportunity here, and he needs to seize it. Hold the spray, just the one head. And now Mouse Sport to man disadvantage. Bemis and Acor are on the B side of the map and Perfecto, oh, could not have timed that any better. Acor, just as his feet touch the ground, just as he averts his gaze from Elben. Far from getting ourselves there. I hadn't considered it, but Perfecto, what Perfecto just did there. Navi have been going for this cave control as well. Right, they've been playing through that smoke with a molly. They're just happy to segregate it. Bemis, well, he had a chance with the flash. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Dexter's in trouble and so are Mouse Sports. Na'Vi just starting to stampede into the site. Dexter clawing on. Electronic. 24 will be his final total. Boomich looking to add a couple more to the tally. He is exposed and another headshot does actually mean Mouse Sports are a bit of a threat here. Oh dear. All onto Perfecto to end it in regulation, and that'll do. 16 to 9, wrap it all up. 1v3 to finish with a little extra style points on top.
And we get ready to strap in for Na'Vi's pick. Mouseport's already down in the dumps in their second game of play for Group C. Likely Dexter goes down to a simple tap, and in fact, especially not now. The nade looks well placed and softens him up. Frozen needs to get a couple of taps here, and Bit is the first victim. Big catch from him. Frozen, a lot of opponents crossing into the site now, and he's not been able to find anything to report. Instead, they'll have to play for the retake. Beamer's locked out. Rops very late in his apps. Flank, and yikes. Frozen's catching bullets left and right. The boost will be effective. You can see Perfecto's pre-aiming it, and Boomish is closing this gap now. But Boomish should be set for a double. Just the one. Acor does well to claw it back into contention. The flank is now becoming relevant. Rops should have simple dead to rights from this bench position. And he does. Leaving Electronic and Perfecto, but the time's starting to become a factor here. If they could just delay, find the frags. Kit's there, the kit's there. And they got time. Oh, wait, he's gone past the kit. They got time. Yeah, and that interview with Beamus was relatively interesting as well. You can see how close they're cutting it. See if the simple show delivers in its first appearance. Of course, it bloody well does. And it looks like Rops is his next victim. Isolated and eliminated. Mouseport's not losing us another second round after converting the pistol. Dexter extends play, Acor contending with a lot on that jungle push. Nade is destined for simple, and down goes the hero, AK. Maybe there is more to be played with here. Boomich already deep into CT. Dexter advancing with another nice great nade. nade. Two members of Na'Vi catching them to their death and demise. Now they're worried about Palace, but it's actually Boomich and Perfecto standing strong on the site, and it seems to have secured the round time. Just a little too sensitive. Acor's going to give it a good go. Gonna give it a good go. Time running out. Options slim. And look at the way they're playing with him. Taking contact, taking it in turn, whittling away all the seconds that remained on that clock. And they've won it through positioning alone. Acor, not sure he's gonna get away with that. Boomich makes it as costly as possible. And three frags out of the leader as well. Na'Vi bite back with a big revenge. Pick your poison. Double or pay setup. Rops is going for a walk here. Bemis does very well into the first duel, and if they continue to push that, that's... Oh, Electronic. Oh, okay. Under balcony with an orb. Here we go, yeah, Rops. Yeah, I don't fancy his chances now. Frozen loses it all as well, and Rops holding Dark with an orb. He doesn't want to zoom in. Dexter keeps it competitive at the very least. Rops now will have the element of surprise, and simple, not surprised <laughs> at all. Doesn't even raise an eyebrow. Hello, hello. Clears him out. Easy find, Dexter in a 1v2. It's going to be a perfecto slow bomb crawl. Simple wanting to answer any questions they may have about the threat. Oh, he knows. So he knows default for simple. If he can hold the cross, he'd need an insta-kill. Okay, Dexter, you've come to play today, it seems. 1v1 against the man himself. And simple considers the triple plant. Abides time, he's gonna get peeked on. Oh, and a snappy one out of the Aussie. Woof. That's huge from Dexter. He gives Mouse Sports a 1v3 clutch. Woof. Just cut noise. Bemis has got nothing to report. Boomich is walking out middle. He's a bit sus right now, a bit suspicious. And now Na'Vi are aiming for a palace explode, and down they go. Bombs in dark. Five bullets, but Rops has not opted to reload because he knows and suspects the push. Boomich dinked by Rops. Can anyone finish the job? It's Acor, and Acor can. A quick pair of frags to wrap it up and confirm the third. That's big for Mouse Sports on a sketchy buy. Do you want to go around the world or what? Well, they should wait for him at least, right? If, if they're going to allow him to do this, Rops wait. Rops is holding this. And he's got the first. So Na'Vi, their pause on A has not quite net netted them the reward they were hoping for. But we're left with a fruity 22nd mid-round here. They have to plant open. Well, late round, I should say. Yeah, they're going for an open plant, and it's up to Electronics' quick taps against potentially two of them. And he's made it look easy. Acor and Rops. And the health of Acor implies he has to use the M4. And I mean, simple. Not going to miss those, and leaves Acor in a rather dire straight where he probably want to save the AWP. Not even get the chance. Won't even try to, yeah. <laughs> Simple's going to take it from him and call it eight. Na'Vi win out their T-half. Could catch them. Here he comes, just as Bemis engages. He's locked out, isolated, wasn't expecting a second. Frozen, though, just kept to one. Dexter has to alert them to his presence. They line up for him, though. And so Mouseports, they have a man advantage, and that bomb needs to go down. Still yet to be deployed. A smoke 
the cover off a connector side plan. Simple to babysit. Needs to hit the flick. He's not ready for it. And a miss from Rox means Simple's now in hot pursuit. That missing kit, Chad, becomes more of a problem now. Dexter again with more impact. Perfecto handed a 1v3 and already with the first and the second Perfecto. This is perfect. And there's no kit. It's an AWP. He doesn't know it. But Acor with so much to do, a fake plan. He's holding it to perfection. Perfecto is right. Damn. He gets a 1v3 and shatters the hopes and dreams of Mouse. Beautiful. That was just beautiful. Saving up there, Schmeckles for the 15th. That was some nice shots. The, the thing is, oh, they're going to have to have a couple more nice shots. Whittled down, can't ah. find the frag. Bit survives. Simple gets another. Ah. It's crumbling ah. again. No, no, no. Oh, no. They know where Bemis is as well. They do. He was just careful. take the bomb B. And they are. So you're simple. If he just... Oh, he's going to play this perfectly. He knows the game better than we all do. So Perfecto is a little too late on this flank. Don't knife him, Simple, please. Just kill him. Bemis. Okay. Going for something here. And he's already punished Simple with a little bit of a whiff shot. He knows where you are. The trajectory was there. Confirms the fake. Bit of a time-sensitive mission as he pulls him off the bomb twice. He's played a great little round here. Bemis just doesn't have the time. That's two clutches from Perfecto. Back to back for 11. Na'Vi are sprinting to finish Mirage. Really stand out yesterday. So let's see if Cirque and Koken... What gun did Simple just have? It looked like a Krieg. Boomich. Boomich, the entry fragger meets props his orb up close and personal. Extinguished, so they know exactly where Bemis is. And this is a 3v5. It should be the best shot we've seen out of Mouse Sports to convert. Should being the operative word. Dexter gone. Perfecto dead, but Electronic's still sticking around. So as this stuff fades and as the CTs demand more info, ouch. A nade onto Electron. There's no way they let this one slip. There's no way. Okay, well, it wasn't an M... Uh, it, sorry, it wasn't a Krieg. I think it was an, either a Negev or an M2496. Ah. <laughs> Oops. Um, oh! Acor oh. has sh <laughs> shot rot. <Right. laughs> All cool. They got the cool. round. Nice job. GG's. <laughs> it's 11. And just a meager four for Mouse Sports here. And already Na'Vi in pole position to collect and convert. Info's found, and away they go. 1x bed odds not favoring Mouse at all here today. Oh, Simple's actually already taken one as well on the cross. They want to pressure and take that jungle control. Perfecto's in a bit of a position to voice some concern. They have flashes on Look Perfecto at here. Look at Electronic's ramp flank already. Like, Simple Electronic can be taking fights at the same time. Boomage in window as well, so all of that control he's done very well to avoid. Contact and Simple combines nicely. Oh, with his head on a swivel, looking for the ace already. Simple gets all of the heavy lifting done and turns around for his fourth. I've already checked it with League Ops. Yeah. All right, it's been verified, it's been checked. So calm down. Hold your horses. Put the pitchforks away. I know we're very accustomed to throwing shade and pitchforks, but... Get him! <laughs> Get him, Alex! Second boy! Get him now! Oh, my God. The stragglers and Dexter over towards middle, selling a little bit of a fake, drawing all the attention he can. They're going to try and limp on out. Well, you can't limp past Simple. Oh, oh no. Electronic has defended middle entirely, and Simple can't believe it's luck. They've just delivered the bomb into the site. And this one feels very flaccid. Frobs doesn't get to do anything. Caught in the smoke. Simple with a bit of a pop off performance for the 15th there and frozen. I mean, it would be quite the 1v5. Unfortunately, Boomich has already taken a colossal chunk out of your body. And bit plans to finish it. All right, Na'Vi, they've got a uh, handful, I'd say. Maybe even two hands. He's working on it. So are Boomich and Simple. Bemis is the one responsible, and he's actually very low HP, so careful now. Sitting duck for the one dig, and now both of them taking fights. It's falling apart. Acor's going to have to come up clutch. I don't think the bomb's planted for him. for him, so he's going to have to hit the slither, and it works out. Simple feeds him one. They're on the defuse. He's going to sit it. He's sitting a 10 second up. No, 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 no. Acor's not having any of that, and he does save Mouseboard's chances. He says play on. Lovely little clutch out of Acor there, and it was simple. It just got caught out on that slither. 
Ugh, slipping through this lurky smoke ramp. Sees him. Spotted out. They're committing to this, but Na'Vi are aware. And they just want to take a fight. They want to finish it right here and now. Light on nades, but not light on frags. Only Dexter remains, and Mouseports have just been completely dismantled. Na'Vi for the 2-0. And to extend their winning streak, not only victors at IEM Cologne, but running with it into Group C of EPL Season 14. It's going to put them within touching distance, a win against Fnatic, the first. Albeit a close 2-0, this one a little less so. And there you have it, Natus Vincere, nine-match win streak as they continue undefeated in ESL Pro League. Your champions of IEM Cologne looking set for a conversion into the playoffs. Mouseport's quite the contrary, down 0-2.